Yo, what's up? It's me, it's D Wood. As many of you know, haven't been posting videos in a while. And I've explained the situation in live streams and such, but in case you don't know what's been going on, uh, we have five sons, two of them are special needs, and normally we have nurses to help out with our kids. So we have a nurse who comes in uh, on weekdays normally, we have a nurse that comes in on weeknights normally, and we have a nurse that comes in on weekends. Uh, normally and so we have help normally and uh, anyway a few months ago we lost basically two and a half of our nurses one had to cut back our hours and we lost the other two and so when that happens uh, we've been through that before and I take over as night nurse and uh, Marie takes care of the kids during the day and normally that's for a while just until you uh, get new nurses because nurses do move on and so on but it's taken a lot longer than normal. There's some sort of nursing shortage. At first I thought it was because of COVID, like maybe nurses are needed elsewhere. Now that I'm seeing help wanted signs everywhere, I think it's just part of a general work shortage, uh, like, like worker shortage, like there aren't enough people to uh, work because people have gotten used to not working during the pandemic. So anyway, hopefully this clears up here pretty soon, but yeah. Um, we have a nurse back on weekdays now. We still don't have work on, a nurse on weekends. And we have a nurse kind of randomly at night, but basically in these situations, uh, I'm the night nurse. And so that's what I've been doing for the past several months. Uh, it's hard to make videos um, on that schedule, but basically I read at night and then during the day I sleep. And then when I wake up in the evening, uh, I've been on a workout schedule to try and get uh, some health concerns taken care of, so I've been focusing on that. Anyway, I started getting back to videos now. What I do now is I record right before everyone else goes to bed and then I edit at night. So that's how I was able to start uh, making videos again. Anyway, so that's what's been going on here. And I mentioned back in January that we kind of need to get a, a lift installed here. I'm at the park now. I would normally be sleeping right now, but I, I just had a dentist appointment, so that's the only reason I'm awake. So I came over here with, uh, to the park with uh, my son Reed here. And uh, so we need to get a lift installed in this van. I mentioned that back in January uh, because we've been using this sort of folding ramp just because it's a... Uh, it was pretty cheap. It was a few hundred dollars and so on. And we just pushed them in their wheelchairs up there. Uh, the problem is... Uh, Reed and Paley have been getting bigger. Uh, keep in mind, this, uh, their, their disease is, called, is considered terminal. So most kids die from it pretty early on. When Reed was born, they told us he had a 50% chance of seeing his first birthday. Told us he had a 30% chance of seeing his second birthday. Reed's 13 now. So um, beating all the odds. So that's cool. It's been kind of a, kind of a rough road for, for him and his brother but uh, they, they just keep beating the odds. But um, anyway, they, they, they've been getting bigger and we have these, these push wheelchairs and we go up this ramp. And basically last November, my wife went over the edge coming down and there's no injuries or anything, but it could have ended up a lot worse going over the edge of that uh, ramp because if you're not kind of lined up perfectly and that weight hits you, um, then, you know, if you're not lined up perfectly, it just sort of pushes you uh, over the edge. And we've known for a while that we need to put a lift in there. We, we actually have power wheelchairs. They're about 400 pounds each. They're not going up that, uh, they're not going up that ramp. Uh, so you'd have to have a lift installed. And I don't know why this is, but I thought it wouldn't be terribly expensive. I mean, I'm just, this is just in my own head. I'm thinking it's a little tiny elevator that lifts something off the ground into the back of the van. How, how much can it be? So I was thinking that this would be like $2,500 or $3,500, in which case I, I wouldn't need to, uh, to ask for any help. But it turns out to be way more complicated than that. The lift is more expensive than that. And they basically gut the, the back of this van. They have to tear up the floor, lay down reinforced floor because you got two wheelchairs that are 400 pounds each. Um, they're gonna put a locking mechanism in there so that when the wheelchair goes in, there's a lock on the bottom of the, the power chair that just locks it in place as soon as it uh, gets, in, gets inside the van. And uh, 
so that's way better because right now we just use bungee cords when we uh, when we bring the wheelchairs in there. Um, so they have to do other stuff like like move around air ducts and so on. So they basically gut the entire thing. Anyway, the actual estimate on getting this thing ready for these power chairs is twenty one thousand four hundred dollars. Now that's more than I've got. In theory, in theory, insurance is supposed to cover 5,000, at least as we're reading the policy, it looks like they're supposed to cover 5,000 of it. Uh, my wife's contacted them a bunch of times, haven't been able to get the ball rolling on that, haven't been able to get them to, to do anything about that. We're thinking um, probably uh, now do a GoFundMe and if we can get it covered, then we'll just go ahead and get it all done and then try to deal with insurance um, afterwards. So in theory, it's 16,400. Um, but as far as actually getting it done right now, 21,400 is what it takes. And so, uh, wanted to put out a GoFundMe for anyone who wants to chip in. You know, it's kind of a funny situation. Like when I was growing up, I wouldn't ask anyone for anything, uh, unless it was like family or something like that, but other people, and I wouldn't take anything from anyone else. I wouldn't accept anything that anyone offered. I would steal from people. I would steal their stuff. I would break into their houses and steal from people. But if someone offered me something, I would never take it. I would never ask. Even if I like went over to someone's house, another kid's house, and they were having dinner, and they say, hey, we're having dinner, I would say that I ate already, even if I hadn't, because I didn't want to take any food from them. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know what kind of weird pride that was, that I didn't want to accept anything from someone else that I wasn't just taking from them. But uh, that continued on for a long time. And then when I started going out and doing stuff, when I would need something, when I would need a new camera or something, and I would ask for it on YouTube, I had to like psych myself up to, to ask people to help me get a camera. I was like, hey, they obviously want you to do a good job. They want you to make good videos. They're happy to help, so go ahead and ask for a camera. So I had to like ask myself, I mean, I had to psych myself up to go ahead and ask for something. But um, anyway, there, there was that weird form of, I don't know, pride, whatever it was, but Man, that, that's gotten just ripped out of me over the years um, after having Reed and Paley because now it's a situation where, man, if they need something and I ain't got it and I can't, I can't give it to them, I will not hesitate to, uh, to ask for help. So anyway, um, we're setting up a GoFundMe right after I record this. And if you want to chip in, uh, please chip in. Now, guys, I know, it's a, I know it's been a pandemic. A lot of people have had a... A rough year so if you're having a rough year uh, d please do not do not chip in um, but some people aren't having uh, aren't having any problems right now and so uh, if anyone wants to chip in you can chip in and I'll go ahead and uh, they said they can start as soon as we as soon as we have the money so um, should be able to do it they said it takes about two weeks and so uh, as soon as we if we can get this covered then I'll take the the van over there they'll uh, they'll fix it up and uh, then I'll post some footage of, of, uh, of the new tricked out van and uh, how the wheelchairs work out with this. So, link's in the description box. Got these good boys. Hey, talking to you.